nothing in this world is better than fried food. Hey you magical people, welcome to Salt and Sugar Saga and today we are making corn fritters and as the name suggests we need some corns. So here I have freshly cleaned up corns and I'm taking the kernels out. And as you can see, there is corn kernels all around my worktop. Let me gather them and put them in a bowl. So we'll keep them aside and it's a time to prepare our batter. And for the batter, we need plain flour or maida and the same quantity of corn flour. We'll add some salt and we'll make the batter with the ice cold water and to make the ice cold water I've taken cold water and added a couple of cubes of ice in that and that will add in our batter. This batter is basically a thin batter but not too runny or watery batter. So I have used around 1 to 1 fourth cup of water here. So this is the basic batter. You can use this batter also but I like to season it more to get uh, more flavors of corn fritters. So for that firstly we are gonna add some black sesame seeds followed by some red chili flakes. We will give it a good whisk. And for adding more flavors we will need to keep it aside and chop our jalapenos. If you don't have jalapeno, you can always add green chilli. If you don't have green chilli, you can just skip it. Chop them as finely as you can. Or you can add less chilli or jalapenos if you are making it for kids. One jalapeno is good even for the kids as well. Now we will flavor it with some ginger. So I'm gonna finely chop the ginger or you can grate them. It's time to add some freshness of herb. So I am using dill leaves here, if you don't have dill leaves you can add cilantro as well or coriander leaves. Finally chop some spring onions, chop them as finely as you can. So everything is done, now we will whisk our batter and blend all the flavors well with each other. Okay now the batter is ready, now we will add our batter into our corns. Do not add all the batter at once because sometimes uh, corns doesn't need that much of batter so you need to add little batter at a time. I think I need to add some more batter. So as you can see I am mashing some corns so that they release their flavor in the batter. So I have used almost all the batter. Yeah so this is the consistency of your corn fritter batter. So this is the oil which is on high heat. Do not reduce the uh, heat of the oil because the bat batter is of icy cold water so when you add some corn fritters it will automatically reduce the heat of the oil so we'll fry them for around three to four minutes or until they are crispy So 
see how beautiful color they got so we'll add more batter guys you need to be very carefully while you're frying the corn fritters because sometimes the corn gets spluttered so be careful Once they get a nice golden brown color, that means they are ready. If you like this recipe, do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Or if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can see a logo of Salt and Sugar Saga on your screen. You can just click the link and subscribe the channel. Do not forget to click the bell icon so that you'll be notified for all the updates. So guys, until next time, take care, bye-bye, enjoy your confitters and keep watching Salt and Sugar Saga.